Hello and welcome to Hudson League and Match Day 34, last match day in France. We have also two midweek games. Next week, the Coupe de France final. A lot to talk about with Alain Balnegri because, Alain, there are so many things still to be decided in this last week. Yes, uh, we see the, the last uh, journey, some, uh, some surprise. Uh, Mets uh, is in a trouble because um, we need uh, Mets need a, a miracle to, to save the, uh, the category right now. The attention is more for the European spot. Mm -hmm. And we have two games uh, during the, the week. Uh, with if Marseille win, Marseille, Marseille, Lens, and Lyon uh, will be equal to the seven uh, six uh, position, and that one for the end of the season, it will be really really hard. Well, let's see what are Alain's uh, thoughts. Uh, last week, you nailed the ACA in League 1, a very high one. So let's hope for the best in this uh, match day. Remember, as always, leave your comments, press the like, subscribe. Let's go on now with the show. And we start with the two games we have on Wednesday because, remember, these teams were involved in European football and didn't play. First one is PSG. PSG said uh, goodbye to the Parc de France this season. It was a sad farewell with Mbappé leaving and with the team losing. They are on holidays until the final of the Coupe de France against Lyon and is much more important for Nice. Uh, Alain is still with some options to play yeah. Champions League next uh, season. They are four points away from Lille and from Brest. Yes, it's the key game for, for Nice. Uh, it's the key game uh, if Nice want to wanna try to catch uh, a Champions League spot. Um, after the, the season, I think needs can behave uh, regret because during most part of the season it was second with really good feeling. But in the last five journey, there doesn't lose. There doesn't lose. Uh, we, we saw uh, again uh, an improvement respect to the to the winter, who was terrible. For the for the Farioli, Farioli team, PSG. What is the motivation? Which which squad with Enrique will be present uh, in uh, in it uh, tomorrow? A lot of questions. We see the grade of motivation of Paris Saint Germain in the last game against uh, against Toulouse. Um, when I check the hearts, uh, I think. We can try one X no draw, odds 1.85, because right now needs need yes or yes point, and Paris is, is champions and has finished his season. Mm -hmm. Well, drawn bet then for Nice is a handicap zero. We saw PSG losing to Toulouse, also dropping points with Le Havre, so their minds are somewhere else and not in the pitch. And also on Wednesday, game. Marcel, uh, you mentioned at the beginning that this was a very important game for Olympique Marcel, a team that beat Lorient after losing the um, Europa League semifinals. If they win, they will go level on points with Lens and Lyon fighting for the sixth spot. Yes, no, uh, it's not a key game like for Nice, for Marseille. But it's really important because we know uh, we know the seventh position can be can be a European spot uh, if Paris Saint Germain won the the Coupe de France against uh, Lyon in uh, in final. Uh, now Marseille Marseille in, in in Bergamo was one of the worst version of uh, Olympic Marseille against the uh, the Atalanta. Good reaction against uh, against Lorient. Um, in in Ligue 1, Marseille 
uh, doesn't lose from the beginning of the of the April. Now playing in uh, in the last class is have a lot of problem. Only two, only three points in the last six game uh, with a bet with a bet uh, with a best average. Reims right now should be in the in the European spot, and um, that means Reims uh, the steel era is finished. A lot of, of players are not in his best uh, best moment. Uh, I check the odds, uh, and I choose Marseille winning for this uh, this game. The odds are interesting, two point eighteen. We can check the, the double opportunity is interesting too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, sad second part of the season for uh, Reims. Uh, at one point was the re revelation team, but <laughs> yeah, it was a bad second part of the season, even uh, now without the manager still. Uh, well, and the last match day, Alain, all the games to be played on Sunday, 19th of May, 9 p.m., Local time, let's start with Monaco Nantes. Uh, here, nothing on a stake. Monaco will finish second the season. Finally, they will qualify for the Champions League next season. We will see them in the Champions League. Nantes, right now, four points away from Metz, from the bottom three. So, absolutely safe. It was a difficult season for Nantes. Uh, what to expect in a game like this? But it's difficult to to, to imagine uh, what can happen in this game uh, when we we analyze the the season about both team. I think Monaco Monaco do a, a really good uh, good season. Is back in in Champions, not uh, save the category. It's not a my record, but. At one moment in the season, we, we see not in, with a lot of difficulties. And Comboire came to save the, the category. He, he accomplished the, the mission. And uh, right now, not uh, uh, will be a, a team of uh, in Ligue 1. The next, uh, the next is, is a good news. Eh? Not a historical team in, uh, in France uh, that doesn't have uh, a board that work well that pay that from uh, from Kita is uh, is in the board, but uh, finally they saved the, the category and, and for the, the the football in French is a, is a very good uh, news. I choose the double opportunities because X two for uh, not uh, not losing because not from the beginning of the year. They lose only one game away in Marseille, and uh, is Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde because at home I think that they lose ten game consecutive uh, away. They save the category with the point away. And not, that one is not so common, and I choose double opportunity x two odds two point two. I'm Six sure. Two. There are better games. Uh, this one is kind of a friendly game. Uh, next one is Le Havre, Marcel. This one thinks on a stake because Marcel, let's see what happens against game, but probably they will fight for the sixth spot to play in Europe. And Le Havre, Alain, they are three points away from Mets. Uh, is there any option that they can um, fall into the bottom three? It's difficult because Mets received by Sajama. It's difficult. It's really difficult. And uh, I think Le Havre suffered a lot in the last two months. But we saw again a good Le Havre in the last uh, the journey that catch a, a point in the uh, Parc des Princes that won uh, against Strasbourg. The key game, the, the three point can be permit to have to have that uh, advantage uh, right uh, right now now um, marseille we, we will be we will be see when they played uh, away i don't mention that in uh, in Reims. the last six game only one draw in toulouse and that one doesn't permit to uh, to Olympic marseille to to fighting for a for better european spot but in spite of that, there, there are 
in the fighting for the for the European spot. It will be depend the game in the, in Reims playing Wednesday. In spite of that, uh, I think Le Havre can be catch a point against Marseille at home. And I choose double opportunity odds one point eighty. All right, uh, let's see. This is an important uh, game, especially probably for uh, Marseille. Uh, next game, Lance Montpellier. Here we have Montpellier absolutely safe. Uh, lost to Monaco in the last game, but away from home, four wins eh? and one draw recently. But this is important for Lance uh, Allen to get the sixth spot. It's been also a difficult season for them. I started playing the Champions League as the runner up of this competition, but the first part of the season was. But and at least I guess they want to get the prize of playing uh, Europa League next season. Yes, yes, this is a key game for uh, for Lance play uh, a lot of things in this uh, in this game. Uh, Montpellier, Montpellier, we saw against uh, against Monaco the, the season is the season is finished for uh, for Montpellier. Now the the question is there will be have motivation to play that uh, that game in uh, in uh, in Lens. I have doubt. I have uh, a lot of doubt, uh, and in change, Lens will be really motivated because Lens uh, have the the advantage uh, um, about the about the goal average. Permit to Lens to if they finish equal with Lyon and Marseille, Lens is in advantage, and that one is a good thing for Lens in the sense of they depend of themselves. And the game, the greater difficulty uh, against uh, against Montpellier is not so so high. For that reason, I choose the the um, the lowest uh, odds. I check they choose this week. Lost uh, winning odds one point fifty. Well, it could be kind of a safe bet, uh, especially because uh, Lance they are playing. For uh, Europe, uh, next game probably the best one this match day. Lille, Nice, uh, because uh, it's important for Lille. They want to get uh, the third spot, going directly to the Champions League. Remember that the fourth will play a playoff in August, uh, so very important to grab the third spot. And they are winning and winning lately thanks to Jonathan David's uh, goals. And Nice uh, still with options to finish in the top four, even if they win their game against PSG and win here, Alena at the Decathlon Stadium, they will finish uh, above Lille in the standing. So this is a very important game for the Champions League. Yes, it should be a final because I, I think Nice can catch point against, uh, against PSG. And... Uh, Go to Lille to play uh, against uh, the uh, the best team when they play at home uh, this season with the same point with Marseille, but with a, a game less with respect to the, the OM in front of the second best defense when they played away like uh, like Nice Nice. It's dangerous this game because Nice feel comfortable against the team who want to play. You watch the results of Nice, especially away against team really offensive, needs catch points in that uh, in that field. But in spite of that, I think Lille have something more of a lot of things more respect to uh, to Nice. I think that that can be managed the game. There will be not play during the week. A lot of uh, of things are in uh, uh, are for uh, for Lille. And I am was surprised when I prepare the the show with the odds mm. because Lille winning two point ten. I think is 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 generous because I see more uh, more difference uh, about both teams. Well, uh, you have to think that uh, Lille is the best uh, home team in the yeah. league uh, yeah. with uh, 36 points, same as uh, Maxell, for instance, right now, but we won game less, only two defeats uh, this season playing at the Decathlon Arena. So 
really good odds to back Lille. Um, next game, the sad game of the week, Lorient, Clermont, uh, Clermont relegated to league the Lorient. Uh, perhaps they have an option, Allen, if they win a Mets lose. I don't know how is the goal difference in this case, but uh, probably both teams will play. Uh, next season in league de Lorient, seven consecutive defeats winless in nine. Well, the difference of goal, <coughs> Lorient is the world's defense in, in league yeah. and 66 goal received uh, is the is the limit about uh, about Lorient because in the they scored more than than Mess, three goal more, but the, they must be to win seven zero. Against uh, against Clermont, if they want to catch the the play out uh, the play out spot, um, yes, is the in my opinion, Lorient and Clermont are the weakest team uh, this season in uh, in Ligue 1. Uh, Clermont suffer in front of the of the goal because they that doesn't uh, uh, score the average. Um, to uh, to save the the category and Lorient with this defense is impossible to to pretend to save the the category. Now they have a little little chance, but I think it's really difficult to see that. In spite of that, I think it will be a game with uh, with goals, and I choose over two point seventy five goals, also one point eighty six. Very sad game. Uh, we will see next season Osek, for instance, in uh, Lek yeah. and they are back and uh, very likely Anje because uh, San Antienne uh, screwed up in the last uh, game and unfortunately yeah. it looks like it's going to be Anje instead of uh, San Etienne, but uh, still this uh, third spot um, now with Mets on it Probably will play a uh, play out against uh, San Etienne Mets. They are playing at home against PSG. What do you expect in this uh, game? Uh, probably again, not the last one of the season for Mets. No, yes, it's probably. I expect goals in this game because PSG. In, um, before I said you they're in holiday, but they're not in holiday because they must to play the, the final in Coupe de France and I do a mistake. Um Mets will be try. We'll be try it to be Mets of Mikel Tadze. Mikel Tadze is a brilliant striker. He, when he's back, uh, I think Mets is in this position because Mikel Tadze came back in in January. Because he, and every goal Mikotal the score are goal with points. And uh, that one for a team who is uh, fighting against relegation uh, is, is gold. It's gold. For this game, I choose the goals over 3.5 goals. In the game odds 1.95. Next game, uh, Lyon Strasbourg. This one important for Olympique Lyon. I still have to find to uh, play the uh, Coupe de France uh, final, but they want also to finish uh, six. What a second part of the season they are doing. Remember that uh, until Christmas they were in relegation uh, spots, but uh, for instance, they won eight out of the last 10 games. Uh, so the odds for Lyon are low, uh, Alem, but it's difficult not to trust them. But Lyon in the last 15 games is the best team in the game. Right? The team with more points. Mm. Uh, we must to to know that and um, the feeling are, are, are very good. They're, they're one in, in Clermont. They're still in the dynamic that they had uh, from the beginning of February when the, the market uh, stopped it in, uh, in the European football. Um, now Strasbourg is in holiday. Strasbourg played the game against Met in spite of that there was save, but played. Uh, the derby against Metz, they was losing 1-0. Eh? And uh, in the second half, they scored two goals to uh, 
uh, to put Mets in the, in the trouble. And it would both team the rivalries is really hard and the the, the player do the job the, the last Sunday. Now Lyon Lyon start every time really strong when they play the at home. For that reason I choose over 1.25 goals in the first half. With only one goal he score is money back, odds 1.83. Okay, and uh, we have two more games to analyze. Game run, uh, nothing to play for in this uh, game. Very poor season for uh, Ran Allen. Probably we expected uh, much more. They won't play Europa, European football next season, especially they were very poor when they played. At Rosen Park, uh, usually they are a very good home team. This yeah. season they are the eighth best team in league, and again a very disappointing season for Gan. Totally, totally agree. Mm. I think we can say this the maybe with Lyon, but Lyon, uh, Lyon improved in the second part of the season. Is the most most disappointed team in my opinion because the, the squad that. Have a lot of quality. Is a, a brilliant, uh, brilliant player in every line. But this season, in spite of the change of the manager, they had one month and a half in January and middle of February when they, they won ten games consecutive, and it was the best part of the of the season. But after that, they go out in uh, in Europe, and they will be back to to see his ghost and. Um, Away, the last season they had a lot of problem, but they qualified to European uh, European competition. This season, no, and um, it's hard for the for the board because the, the squad uh, have a lot of uh, of quality. They must to try maybe to arrive, uh, uh, but I think it, it will be not enough to uh, to catch a, a European uh, European spot. But now the question is who is who is a, a, a worst moment because Reims, in my opinion, the, the season is really negative, Ren too. But uh, I think Ren has something more, and for that reason, I choose Ren winning odds 2.15. Not a good game to place your bets, uh, that's for sure. And last one is to lose uh, Brest. Uh, very important, this game for Brest. Uh, this is a must win if they want to play Champions League. Uh, let's see if third or uh, fourth. Uh, they drew with game and Nantes in the last two games. It's only one win in the last five. It looks like the season is getting a bit uh, long for Brest, um, to lose, I guess, at the end, uh, Alain was a good season. They played in Europe, mid-table finish. We saw them beating Liverpool. Some positive things. The second part. The second part of the season uh, in Ligue 1 and the first part in the in Europa League. Yes. Toulouse improved a lot this season. Toulouse is a, is a young team. I think in the, in, if we analyze in the individual uh, Season, I think they they improve uh, a lot, uh, and that one for uh, for the board is a very good news. Now my question is, um, who he will be will be sold this summer, and um, because with that type of uh, of philosophy in the in the market, uh, when do you work a lot with the data? It's, it's difficult to have continuity because if you have a uh, one or two market bad uh, after the the things can be can be really difficult. Uh, curious to see um, the summer in uh, in Toulouse, and curious to see if uh, Brest uh, catch uh, an historical uh, Champions League spot, because in Italy we have uh, we have Bologna. Maybe in France we have, uh, we, have we have Brest. Girona. Brest is, is, the, Girona. is one of the. Girona. Girona and Spain, exactly. Girona and Spain. One of the the biggest surprises, I think, the if Brest go to the Champions in the, in the last ten years in the European football, Brest uh, last season, I remember it, 
there was fighting against the relegation. Mm -hmm. And it is not a team change a lot there eh, respect to the to the last uh, to the last season. The difference, the manager. Saint Roy arrived in the bench, he changed the things, he changed the mentality, he changed the, the dimension about the, the club, he changed the ambition because right now in after 14 months or 15 months, he's in the bench, the team are really near. To um, to catch a point in Champions, maybe the people are, are not in the reality and doesn't value um, this uh, this option and is a really option because if Brest Sunday catch a point, one point in Toulouse, there will be a European uh, um, a Champions League team. I think Toulouse will be play like Toulouse play uh, with offensive football, and for that reason, it should both team to score at 1.62. Well, uh, we can see Girona in Spain, Bologna in Italy, Aston Villa in uh, England, Stuttgart in Germany, and perhaps Stuttgart. the rest. Sorry. Yes, 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 totally. totally. Mm -hmm. Some uh, surprises, of course, uh, Aston Villa, they've been in the uh, Champions League or in the Copa de Europa, no, the European Cup before, but there are all surprises in the new format of the Champions League next uh, season. Well, Alain, your last uh, safe bet of the season is... Le Havre OM, over 1.5 goals, out 1.30. And the Aka? Lost Montpellier, Lost winning. Lille winning. Olympique Lyonnais Strasbourg over 1.25 goals in the first half. And Monaco not over 1.75 goals for a total 7.20. Well, Alain Balnegri, this is it for our season in League One. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone, for watching us the whole season, for following us. And uh, see you very soon. European football is uh, very close to start again with the Euros. So, Alain, bye-bye.